Hey guys, it's Sigma One Sixty here, and I'm about to show you the best way to use your bike. Right? There you go. Just, just have no front tire, and then you can like. Like sit on it. Easy, easy, and then you can pedal. Sort of. Right, right. So you obviously know I'm just kidding, right? I got my tire. <coughs> but what I'm gonna do today my friends and fans I'm gonna f get my drift bike and pull off the front tire and try and stick it on there so I'm gonna leave my phone here there's the, my bike long fell over First, I've got to remove the tire on the drift bike for my test, and the name of science. And the name of science, I'm about to remove the front tire of my drift bike that doesn't work anyway. Hopefully you can see me. I found a tool. I don't know if it will work. Nope. Ow! I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to go get a tool. Good old wrench.
front wheel. Small one off. Long on. And the big boy. So. Oh my god, I wonder if pedals are even spin. It's gonna look freaking real hard. The, the, the brakes won't, don't even reach. That's one thing. Good thing they didn't work anyway. Well, that's not actually a good thing though. We don't need it super tight. I just gotta do the other side. Right, let's just flip it over and see how it rides. Now yeah, I might try to run this one on the big tire. So yeah, you can use a bike with a smaller front tire, a very smaller front tire than mine. My situation, so I'm going to lay this bike up against the wall and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Big little. Actually, feel kind of comfortable to ride. Anyway, this is my actual front wheel. She doesn't sit much lower. Wow. Although the wheel's not that crazy bigger. I mean, the current room is probably about the size. The front room on these big these, these rooms are probably about the size of the car room. How many inches? I don't know how many inches they are. This one's actually flat. It's got freaking a scarf stuff into it. You can see it there. And that's the size of a car room. That's the size of my normal bike room. And this is the size of the room I'm using. So later on today I'm probably going to put on my normal front room. You know what, for now, I'm going to take it out for a ride with a tiny room. <laughs> Crazy bullshit. 
So I'm just gonna go slip some shoes over my feet for protection because you know it's lower, more likely to hurt my feet. But the pedals are actually lower. Boy, it's scraped my toe. Let's go inside and get some shoes on. Oh, I'll just wear these. I'm going to wear Crocs today. Wow. Uh, Am I wearing Crocs? Croc uh, no reason. It's time. Tested it out. <laughs> Stay. Okay, mm -hmm. that much already. Okay. Hopefully, it's still filming. Just check. We good. We lit. I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. Side camera. I'm gonna go home. This is about 
my vision height. So, uh, yeah. My positioning on the seat right now is honestly feeling a bit comfortable. It's a dog. Like my back to weed. This is what it looks like. Dog. I love my dog. Nineteens. So I've got nineteen inch on that. How many inches are these ones? But no. I would say they're about fourteen inches. Let me know in the comments if you know how. How many inches this bike is? Because the frame is a. Don't even know. But it's in my life, I'm hoping. So, let me know in the comments if you know how big the wheels are on this my life, hurricane. My Black Thunder uses 19s. The rear wheel is supposed to be a TM19, but. Um, before I had it, when my brother had it, the wheels got fixed and swapped it back then with my spare parts bike, which doesn't exist anymore, it's just spare parts and most of it got thrown away. <laughs> so, the rear TM19 for the back wheel, the rear wheel TM19 is on my, well it's mine and my brother's now, is on the Malazzo. Like, I haven't passed the red one. And is it still filming? Yes, it is. Not crazy. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Please like and subscribe for more vids. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!